So we know how to format characters. Now we need to talk about formatting paragraphs. So adjusting your paragraph spacing without using enter, let's say. Um, also adjusting your line spacing potentially. Talking about alignments. Um, this is paragraph formatting. Formatting. So let's get into that um, and discuss how we apply that in our Word documents. All right, so we now know how to do character formats. Let's talk about some paragraph formatting. So with paragraph formatting, I like to start uh, simply by talking about alignments. So what we have when you, when you type out a normal document is everything is defaulted and aligned to the left. Now you notice I've typed the title here, Word Level 1. If I would like to center that on my page, I can simply, on my Home tab, use the Center Align button. These are your alignment buttons. If I click that, you'll notice the title moves and aligns centered. Now I'm, I have to make sure my cursor is on that line somewhere, or that paragraph I should say, and then it centers it. Align right, you can imagine what that does, goes to the right hand side of your margin. Align left will go to the left hand side of your margin. And then you have a justify. And let's look at this. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. There we are. So you'll notice that this paragraph, this edge is ragged, this edge is nice and clean, because currently it's aligned to the left. But if I were to switch it to justify, what it does is add spaces between the words so that your left and right margins are perfectly straight. This is called justify. You see this a lot in newspapers and things like that. So these are your alignments, and we can change them at any point simply by clicking into a particular paragraph and then clicking what alignment we want. Next, let's talk about line spacing. So I'm going to use a quick keyboard shortcut here. I'm going to use Control A. That's going to highlight my whole document. It selects everything. And I would like to space my lines, and I'd like to space them, let's say, one and a half lines apart. So I'm going to click this little button here, this little arrow next to it. I'm going to choose 1.5, and there you have it. Your lines are spaced. Okay, really, really easy to do. This can be changed at any point. So maybe I want a double space. Well, there you go. Now you have double space lines. Default is 1.15, or it's basically 120% of whatever your font size is. Okay, and so that's the default uh, one. Can, can really crunch them up quite together. And again, we can choose from any of these options. Okay, good. Um, next thing to discuss would be these indent buttons. Okay, so if I click a paragraph and I'd like to indent it off the left-hand margin, that's how you can go about doing it. You'll notice that it's moving uh, these little groups of buttons here, which are your indents. So I can increase the indent or I can decrease the indent. Okay. What we are also have the ability to do is use our mouse to do these indents. So I can grab this bottom box on my ruler, and I can simply drag that over, and that's going to indent the paragraph. I could use the same little triangle on, on the right-hand side to indent it from the right. You'll notice that it's just applying to that one paragraph. And of course, we can drag them back, and that'll take us back to normal. Now, this top triangle by itself will just indent the first line of a selected paragraph. So if I were to use my keyboard shortcut again, Control A, highlight everything, I'm going to drag that top triangle over. You notice the first line of all my paragraphs have been indented. This bottom triangle is going to move with the bottom square, and that indents everything except for your first line. And again, we can drag that back. So that kind of explains a little bit about those buttons and working with paragraphs and indents. We also have buttons here to create bulleted lists. That will put a bullet point in front of all your paragraphs. You also have a numbered list, which puts a number in front of all your paragraphs. These we will get into in a lot more detail um, in another level of Word. For now, that's just what those buttons are there, and that's what they do. If I would like some detailed paragraph formatting, for example, I would like to add a line of spacing between each paragraph. Not the lines, but the actual paragraphs. I'd like to add some paragraph spacing. Well, how we can do that is in this grouping, we have this button again, and it gives us more options. So. If I click the little Paragraph Options button, here we go, pops up. And what I have is I have all my standard things, alignment, outline levels, which we'll have to discuss again in another level of Word. Indentation, left, right. Special is where we find that first line, or hanging is everything except for the first line. And then this is what we're actually looking for right now. It says spacing before and after paragraphs. So I'd like to say, okay, after each paragraph, I would like 12 points. Or maybe we'll even do a little bit more. We'd like a line and a half. We'll do 18 points. Okay. And at that point, I'm going to click OK. There's a little OK button just below here. And you'll notice that that is now spaced on my paragraphs without using Enter. 
So I can change that value, I can modify it whenever I want, uh, but that's a very, very effective way to apply your paragraph spacing. Okay, so that's some basic paragraph formatting for your Word documents. It can make your life really, really easy without actually putting in the spaces yourself using enter or tab or spacebar. Uh, we can use paragraph formatting and it's going to make our lives a lot easier when we're setting up documents. So again, not hard to do just like character formatting, paragraph formatting. Uh, we do have buttons for it on our home tab or we can use the detailed paragraph um, formatting dialog box to do things like our line spacing and our paragraph spacing um, as well as of course our alignments. We have the, the alignment buttons, align left, align center, align right and our justify. Really quick, really easy way to apply different paragraph formats throughout your document.